What's going on guys, Big Apple Airsoft here with the next episode in our Custom Gun Spotlight series. Today we'll be taking a look at the G4 Custom. Um, originally this base gun was a G4A3 SP. I got it a while ago, I did a review on it, and I've changed it up a little bit, um, and I thought you guys would be interested in seeing this gun. Now start off from the back, move our way up. In the back we have a stock. GNG crane stock, holds a 9.6 battery. Uh, I really don't use lipos in this gun. I guess you could. Moving up, we have a paracord sling. This is so I can easily change hands because our field, the corners are very tight and you gotta be able to shoot both ways and switch uh, hands really quickly. So that helps because the stock version um, does not come with the plate for that. Moving up, we have just regular GNG stock body. Uh, nothing special. It does keep the weight down a little bit. The blowback, this is a blowback if you're not familiar with that. All that means is this will move back every time I shoot it. Nothing special. Internally though we do have some upgrades. Downgraded spring for CQB so it is legal. SHS 16 to 1 gear set installed and SHS 7 metal teeth piston installed. Um, those definitely increase the rate of fire especially the gear set and the motor also helped. I do have a GMP M120 motor that did increase the rate of fire a little bit. Over the motor, the motor grip, it's a g and G. I forgot what it, exactly what it was called, but it, it's like an ergonomic grip, a uh, motor grip. Definitely makes it a lot more comfortable when I'm aiming down the uh, sights and when I'm holding this gun. It makes it a lot more comfortable to um, hold. Moving up, as you can see, we have an NC Star Red Dot. Great Red Dot, four reticle, reticles. Um, one of my personal favorite, and it's pretty cheap. And also, it is camouflage, so it kind of goes with the look that I'm trying to pull off here. Uh, moving up, we have the Daniel Defense Omega X Light Rails. These rails, uh, they're pretty solid, well built. Um, not everyone has them, but they're pretty unique. Um, over these rails, we do have the Magpul OD rail covers. Uh, definitely make the gun look cooler with the OD two-tone look, and uh, definitely easier to grip. Also, speaking of grips, we have the Magpul RVG. Great grip, definitely recommend it. Makes the gun a lot more comfortable to hold. Moving up, uh, flip up sight, nothing special. Came stock with the gun. Up here we have the JBU 4.75 inch mock suppressor, which actually is only on here because I do have a full M4 A1 Sistema 6.04 length inner barrel. Um, that is probably one of my favorite upgrades. It makes the gun shoot a lot more accurate compared to the G&G stock barrel. So I definitely recommend upgrading to that barrel if you can. Um, overall, this gun, it's uh, pretty solid. I like, it's also kind of unique, not really, but a lot of people, what they've done to their guns is put like an OD, not OD, uh, a tan two-tone to -tone look to it. Um, I tried to pull off this OD two-tone. I mean, obviously I could probably upgrade the stock to uh, maybe a Magpul or something, or maybe the grip, but I like the way the gun is now. Definitely, definitely a uh, more unique gun. Um, a lot of people do have this, but locally, a lot of people have the tan two-tone. Um, that's really it on this Custom Gun Spotlight. Spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, leave us a like if you really like the video, if you want to see more Custom Gun Spotlights. Comment if you have any questions, suggestions, uh, just any, or any comments. And subscribe if you're new. Big Apple Airsoft here, signing off.